Manchester United 2, Leicester City 0. Really pleased that Manchester United got a, a hard-fought win for me. Now, the game was played pretty much all in Leicester City's half for the majority of this match. Manchester United pretty much dominated the whole game. And we've started with almost the same lineup as we have in the previous games, apart from Anthony Martial coming in. We have pretty much absolutely outplayed Leicester City today. But the reason why I call it a hard forward win is because these type of games were where we were slipping up last year, where we the other team was defending very, very well. The goalkeeper was having a blinding game and we couldn't break them down. You think back to the likes of Burnley 0-0 last season, a lot of them sort of games. But we've dug in in this game and we've got the three points, which really pleases me most. And we haven't given too much away. At the end there, David Hayes had to pull off a really world-class save. But besides that, which is the most pleasing aspect of the era under Jose Mourinho, is it's definitely getting better at the, in the defensive side of things. David Hayes isn't having to be man of the match hardly at all in these wins either. You remember under, under Van Gaal, whenever we'd win 1-2-0, David Hayes would 9 times out of 10 be man of the match because he'd be pulling off 3-4 saves, world-class saves per game. And although people say, well, we had a great defence, yeah, but when we come up against some big teams, we we struggle to keep, to keep them out because David Hare couldn't keep everything out. But now, with Matic in, in behind the bat four, it's looking a lot better. Phil Jones is looking absolutely quality. I thought he did a decent game against Riyad Mahrez. He did get him a couple of times, but I still think that Phil Jones did, did do very, very well. And given a run of games, I think he is turning into a decent partner for it Bay at the moment, it seems. Hopefully long might continue and he stays injury free. Paul Pogba, certainly in the first half, fantastic. Had six shots on goal, could have had a goal today. The only real downfall was that second half start when Lukaku missed the penalty after, what was it, about 60 minutes or whenever it was. Really disappointed that he missed that penalty. But it was still a good save from, from Schmeichel. He had a good game today, Schmeichel. Pulled off a good save in the first half from one matter as well. Is a, is a top keeper, obviously nowhere near as good as Peter, but still still Kasper's as a, a, a solid Premier League goalkeeper. But Leicester City didn't really offer too much going forward, but it took till Jose Mourinho made the substitutions. This time it was Rashford getting himself a goal from a corner. They'll probably be disappointed they've conceded from a corner kick. But the difference between Rashford's and Martial's, Martial's goals in recent weeks were that Rashford's was the opening goal of the game, whereas Martial has been scoring goals when when the game's more open, when goals have already been scored. But still, credit obviously to Martial for scoring some goals this season. He didn't score or assist today, but still looks threatening on the pitch. Hopefully he can continue to get some more minutes. And obviously Fellaini coming on later on and... It looked like he could have been slightly maybe offside, but Lingard playing him in and he's put it away. Really pleased that Fellaini's got a goal as well. I mean, I'm not his biggest fan, but really pleased that we've just won the game and someone scored. Whoever's on the pitch for Manchester United, I hope they score and I hope we win. Obviously, that world-class save at the end from David Hare thankfully kept the clean sheet for Manchester United. It's nice to get three clean sheets in a row. It's our first five clean sheets in a row dating back to last season for a number of years, apparently. I forget what they said on BT Sport. So that is pleasing to see with Matic in behind that back four, com complementing Paul Pogba so well. Eric Bay and Phil Jones seem to be complementing each other really well as well at the moment, So, which is fantastic to see. And Manchester United look really good at the moment. I thought this game was going to be a lot tighter than this. I thought they probably would score in this. I was surprised that Manchester United was so dominant and that, that they were so. it seemed that they were sitting back a lot just trying to hit Manchester United on the break with their pace from the likes of Vardy, but Vardy didn't really see enough. The ball got taken off in the second half. Red Morris was about their best out there up, fr up front on the, on the attack of areas. But really, really pleased with that. You can't ask for much better than that performance from Manchester United. It was just a, a shame the goal took a, lo a long, longer time than it has in previous games to break them down. That was the only downfall. Had that Lukaku penalty gone in, we may have won 3 4 nil again because... That would have opened it up a lot earlier the game. It was a bit too late when we got the goal to open it up a lot more and to score the amount of goals that we have been in the last few games. But you can't, you're going to have to dig deep. These were a lot better sides, as I say, than West Ham and Swansea. So you've got to dig deep and win these games. It, it was certainly the sternest test and surprised at how comfortable Manchester United were in that final third at dominating it. And we must have had sort of 70% possession at times which is crazy to, to think, even against this Leicester side, who obviously are, are sort of a, a team that likes to defend 
a lot and try and catch teams on the break. But even so, they, they've still... I mean, some of these players have won the Premier League only two, two seasons ago. And it was surprised how dominant Manchester United were. Probably probably actually 3-0 would have been more suffice to the actual scoreline than 2-0 in the, in the amount of dominance I feel that Manchester United had in this particular game. But really pleased with that. You can't ask for much more going. I think it's an international break now. So going into an international break, that is really positive for Manchester United. Now, probably for me, Paul Pogba, I'll give him man of the match today. But Phil Jones, honourable mention to him. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This Does this... Does this make us favourites yet at the start of the season? I know there's a long way to go in the season. I'm not getting too carried away and I don't think we are favourites. I still think, think that Man City are slightly ahead of us in terms of their attacking play. Although we have scored more goals at the start of the season, they didn't look so clever. They only just scraped to win against Bournemouth. But we're in contention at the start of the season. We're winning games. We're playing better. The players look happy. So I think we're certainly title contenders this season. Let me know your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon.